Archaeologists have discovered a complete human skull in China dated at approximately 1 million years old. It's seen as a missing link to the branch of Asian Homo erectus that have previously been found on the continent. With the oldest in the region being dated from 1.7 million years, this new skull fits in between that one and another fossil that was found in Beijing, the Peking Man, which is from 500,000 years ago. So these older Homo erectus fossils in Asia from over 1 million years ago are out of sync with the linear path of evolution, as in the same time period and contrary to popular belief, multiple human species roam the earth at the same time. So the oldest Homo erectus fossil to be found was in South Africa 2 million years ago, with the last known fossil to be found in Indonesia at 100,000 years ago, and it is there where they're believed to have gone extinct. So this makes them the most successful human species to date. So in the latter period of the Homo erectus's time in Asia, they would have coexisted with much bigger, now extinct Ice Age animals, as well as coexisting with the Neanderthals, the Denisovans, and Homo sapiens. But it is believed that we never came in contact with them, as they went extinct before modern humans arrived in Indonesia. The lineage and evolutionary history of Homo sapiens, Homo erectus and other Homo species is still very unclear with every new finding further complicating the timeline. Scientists can only find what comes after a species, not the ancestors of species. So the ancestor of Homo erectus is still unknown. Some species that are suggested to be the ancestors of Homo erectus were also coexisting with them and in some cases in the same places at the same time, such as the Drimlin Cave in South Africa. So to put it into context, when Homo erectus starts to appear in the fossil record 2 million years ago, species that are said to be ancestral were still existing at this time and for another 500,000 years. The first of its kind in human lineage, Homo erectus had a complete upright posture. They didn't climb trees like the hairy, long-armed species they left behind on the savannas. They had a large brain with fully functioning hands, stabilized feet and a body adapted for striding locomotion. So they walked and ran in the same way modern humans do today, as well as having hairless bodies just like us, allowing them to travel far and wide. They're the first completely terrestrial human species. The ability to control fire and the development of stone tool making 
opened up a whole new world where once their ancestors were the hunted, the Homo erectus were now the hunters, signaling the origin of the genus Homo. The first steps were made by Homo erectus on a journey that would see them dominate regions of the earth for two million years.